The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria is set to carry out its 59th Airports Council International Africa Board and Regional Committees Conference next month. The managing director of the authority, Sali Dunoma, is expecting the conference with the theme Business Transformation for Sustainable Airport to attract experts from across the world to discuss the future of the airport and how it can perform better. The agreement has just been signed and uh, will commence uh, very soon, uh, maybe next month. And uh, uh, it will start with Lagos and Abuja. Uh, there are so many programs we've signed on to and uh, we have to uh, space them in such a way that, um, uh, you know, when this is like an audit, as they do the audit, uh, we try to make amendments in the way we do things. So uh, we've just finished, uh, we've ju we are just commencing the, uh, uh, the Apex and Safety. Uh, we'll soon commence also Apex and Security. We have also signed on to that. We are making arrangements for the experts to come and look at our security systems and then they'll advise us. So, uh, uh, in the next uh, few weeks, uh, the Apex, uh, the, the ASQ, Airport Service Quality, uh, will also commence. And uh, I assure you, it is going to improve. Uh, at the end of the day, it is going to improve our service delivery uh, levels. The federal government is determined to ensure that all operational guidelines in the nation's airports meet certified international standards. The director of FAN made this known during the signing of a memorandum of understanding with the Airport Council International that came for an assessment tour of the Port Harcourt International Airport in River State. This is basically done in keeping with the standards for the certification of airport excellence in safety apex program. Uh, all the systems and subsystems of the airport operations of the airport will be reviewed, not only physical characteristics, but all the documentations of the safety management manual, air drum manual, all the fire, fire fighter systems of the airport, everything that is written for the operational management of the airport. I'm here to kickstart the apex and safety program. We have already initiated with ACI World towards certification of Portacourt International Airport. We did a similar exercise a year ago to enable us to certify Lagos and Abuja Airport. So now that we've successfully concluded those two airports, what we are doing today is to officially kickstart the Apex in Safety, which will guide us towards achieving certification for Portacourt. And after Portacourt, we shall be here for seven days. After Portacourt, we're proceeding to Kano, and then it will Enugu as the third airport. On the foreign scene, a plane carrying 71 passengers and cabin crew crashed on landing at Nepal's Kathmandu airport, killing at least 49 people. Rescuers pulled bodies from the charred wreckage of the plane operated by Bangladeshi airline US Bangla after a raging fire was put out. Flight BS-211 veered off the runway while landing on Monday. According to local media, all flights in and out of Tribhuvan International Airport have been cancelled. The plane, which was flying from the Bangladeshi capital, Dhaka, was identified in local media as S2 AGU, a Bombardier Dash 8Q400 turboprop, but this has not been officially confirmed. And when we return from the break, Enugu Airport is our next port of call. The federal government says it is ready to upgrade it to international standards. Please stay with us.